My name is Tim Bennix, and this is a Turbo Tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will be looking at hybrid rendering in Nuxt 3. And so this is a really cool feature because what this does is you're telling the Nitro engine to pre-render certain components or certain pages like SSG pages. And then you can even say, crawl the links that you find on those pages or on those routes, and then also statically render those, but all the rest you keep dynamic, so you can have API routes, you have server routes, you can have anything in your pages directory that's not linked on that page or on that route that you want to crawl the links for and render is also dynamic. And so this gives you an amazing approach into doing things in a hybrid way. Maybe your homepage is super dynamic, but all your blog pages always stay the same. Well, render these statically because they don't change and then your homepage stays dynamic. So in this case, let's have a look at the browser or in the code here to see what I've done. Um, so basically here, you can see I'm telling Nuxt Convict Nitro, which is the engine um, Nuxt runs on, pre-render the route home. And all the links that you find on that home route, you actually have to crawl and then also st statically render those, right? So this thing, when I do Nuxt build, it will actually do what you what we used to know as Nuxt generate for only these things. And then for the rest, it just is basically um, an, a dynamic application. So we're not running Nuxt generate, we're running Nuxt build. All right, so um, basically how this page or the, how this app looks in this case, I have an index file that actually has a link to a ROS page which means the home page is statically rendered and then the ROS page is as well. But there's also a Rachel page. And this one is not actually um, found by the crawler. So this one will be dynamically rendered. And as you can see here on the top, I'm actually getting friends data from a fetch to our own API friends route. So the API friend route will literally just output some JSON but there's also a server route for slash friends that will also output some JSON, which means I have some statically generated files, the home page and the ROS page. Then we have the Rachel page and a few API routes that actually are dynamic, right? So let's have a look. So when I'm on the home page here, it says I am statically rendered and I go to ROS, I'm also statically rendered. And now I go to Rachel. And this one is dynamically rendered through SSR and it actually queried that API, right? So you can actually do API slash friends, which will output that JSON. But I've also made a, a server route for slash friends, which also outputs that JSON, which is here, routes, friends, or API. So in this case, those are the same files. It's just to show you how easy it is to actually do that. So let's actually make a build and look at what comes into the output folder. So let's turn this off and do yarn build. And so um, here we go. There's some, actually some blackness here, but that's just because of my theme. So it rendered a whole bunch of files here in the output. So in the public folder, you actually see an index HTML with our stuff. I am statically rendered. And then there's a ROS folder with, I am also statically rendered, but there is no Rachel folder or nothing for these APIs. So this is a lovely hybrid approach to how you want to be running your Nuxt instance. And I think this is the future because if we can put the dynamic things on the CDN edge and then next to those also the, the, the static ones, we're gonna be super fast and you can actually have proper backend stuff again. Anyways, that's what I wanted to show you. Feel free to comment, put questions, any remarks, and I'm there. And there's one caveat to this video and I'm putting that in the end because um, when a new RC version comes out or the actual GA version of Nux3 comes out, it could be that this behavior changes because this is such a big thing. And, um, I'm thinking that this way that I set it up now will still work, but there will likely be easier approaches to it. So if that happens, this video shall be updated. And until that time, cheers, and I'll see you next time.